Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different than the alphabet challenge. So um, I got something in the mail today and I wanted to share with you guys. It's a happy mail. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys. And if there's time, then we'll do a little bit of crafting afterwards. But I got this package from Miss Melissa. So hello and thank you. And as you can see, I'm opening it on camera. I have not opened this yet. Um, so I'm pretty excited because I have no idea what it is. I knew something was coming, but I'm not sure what that something is. Does that make sense? So I am super excited. Ooh, greedy. <laughs> oh, that is an address. All right. So this is a card. open that up. I see some embossed paper. Oh, it's so fun. I love the green. The green is so pretty. Aw. Thank you. Yeah, the lives are just not a thing for me right now. There's no way I can do the lives because we are just so incredibly busy with the schooling and with my shop. And it is just, it's so busy. Can y'all see that? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love that. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, it's a little pocket. Oh, look at that. She did some embossing here as well, and then she's got some inkage going on. Oh, and they're fabric squares. Check that out. And they're purple. I like it. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, I love that. And some more embossing here. I know there's a lot of people that make fun of me because I say my embossing weird. I don't say it the way you're supposed to. Oh, that's cute. It's a, um, it's a piece of paper out of, oh, wait, I think this was, uh, a, a, okay, I see. I thought, like, maybe it was packaging or something. That's what I was thinking at first. That is so cool. And that's really cute, too, because I have a dog. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think those are daisies, right? Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. If it has to do with flowers, I'm probably wrong. I love all this embossed stuff. Is this two? Feels like you're two. That's so cool. I love this pocket. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you did not come out of there. Whee. Okay. How did you have this in here? Didn't you come out of there? I think you came out of there. Ha ha. I win, Pocket. I win. <laughs> oh, she went crazy with this embossing stuff. This is so cool. See, I don't think to emboss stuff like this. Then again, I don't really emboss much anyway. That is so cool. Can y'all see that? I love this. Oh, how neat. This looks like a image off of a pattern. That's very cool. Uh, some book pages. Look for me. Book pages are always fun because they you can do so much with book pages. Oh, paper doilies. Ooh, okay, sorry, I read ahead. <laughs> Some paper doilies. I love the paper doilies. I have so many paper doilies. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, and it's not white. It's like a, like a cream color. That's really cool. Okay, some envelopes. Ooh, 
pocket envelopes. Our window envelopes. That's really cool. That's really funny because I actually thought about buying some envelopes just so I can use them, but I thought better of it because I have a lot of envelopes, but I don't have the pockets That's or the windows. That's why I thought about it. That's really cool. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Some napkins. Oh, I love these. Those are pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I don't have these either. I don't have either one of these. How cute is that? Oh, I can so save this and do Easter next year with these. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much. All right. And, oh, this is so perfect. Are these pen toppers? I'll be selling the charms on my YouTube channel. Are these pen toppers? Oh, purple and green. Check that out. Oh, I love this. You see that? Oh, you're backwards. And then the green one. Don't stab myself. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm guessing with the pen, they're pen, like they're glue toppers. I can't tell if they're stainless or not. Ow. <laughs> Y'all should know better than to give me sharp or hot or anything dangerous because I will stab myself. That's really cool. So I have a bottle that I need to decorate. And Stick it in there. How cool is that? Do you like the green one or the purple one? So cute. We okay, I'm a dark right now. <laughs> I think I like the green one. I'm deciding. I don't know. I really like the purple though. Ah. Oh, the decisions, decisions. Okay. So I need to find somewhere to stick this. Uh, I think I'm going to put it on here so I don't stab myself with it because I most likely will. So I'm going to stick it right here on this bottle. This is just my tacky glue. I'm going to stick it right there so I don't stab myself with it. Because I sure enough will. Because I've already stabbed myself with it. I'll put this other one over here too. See, I now can use this one. Wait. I imagine that you probably already double checked all of that stuff. And you're probably like, of course they're stainless steel. I wouldn't give it to you. Oh, and that little squeaky voice that I like to use when I'm making fun of my oldest daughter. Because she whines at me a lot. Ooh, paper. I think this, yes, I smelled it. It's habit. Um, I think this is copy dyed paper. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, these are really cool. Oh yeah, I'm digging this. This is awesome. Thank you, Miss Melissa. That's, this is so sweet of you. So I'm going to try to remember to link her YouTube channel because she said she was going to sell those charms on her channel. Um, I don't know when, so if you want to leave a comment and let me know if you already have a time and date, then uh, that way we can tell everybody when to expect to see your charms. Oh, that is so cool. I love this. Yay. I think I'm going to have to start one of those um, journals that Miss Gail has uh, created. I don't know who came up with the idea first, but she calls it a correspondence journal. I think I'm going to have to do that because um, 
I want to keep this card because it's a really cool card. And the other side has our address on it, so I don't want to show you that, but I like that card. Oh, that is so cool. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. What can we do? Play with one of the windows. I haven't done that in a minute. So, let's see what we can come up with. Don't mind me, I'm just opening stuff up. I have a drink around here somewhere, at least I thought I did. Maybe I drank it all. I think I drank it all. All right, so what do we want to do with this? I think what we want to do with this before we do anything is color it. So let's grab this and oh, sorry, my desk. I literally just cleaned off my desk, but it's a little bit of a disarray right now because um. I got a few orders today and like as soon as I thought I was done I clicked refresh and then I had more so I was like oh no so and it's Saturday so I wanted to try to get them done so to get them out the out of the you know get them picked up so we're just gonna color this so it's not quite so white and I'm just using this brush. I think I got these brushes off of Amazon. Pretty sure. I got a lot of stuff off of Amazon. You got to make that Prime membership work for you, man. All right. So there's that side. Let's do this side. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing yet. Oh, but I did want to show you guys something real quick. I just thought about it because I'm sitting here doing this envelope is what made me think about it. I'm working on some ephemera pieces for uh, one of my kits because one of my kits is incredibly popular. So I'm trying to uh, design some ephemera pieces to go with them or some embellishment pages to go with them. So, so far I've got in the works, uh, cause I want to have at least like three sets done before I release them on the shop. And so I have two of them done. I just need to work on the third one. So the first one that I did was the collage sheet. I did, um, some pages on the collage sheet. For Birds of a Feather is the collection I'm talking about, by the way. Um, I don't know if we should ink this side because I think I'm going to cover this, this in here. So I think we're done with that for now. And this is the collage seat that I'm doing for Birds of a Feather. Well, there's one of them. I have three. So you've got you know, some labels, some, and it's just, it's meant to be used with like collaging. And that the only reason I thought about it is because, well, probably fixing to do with some collaging here. So we've got some like wallpaper strips or washi strips, whatever you want to call them. They're not wallpaper and they're not washi, but they're strips of the graphic designs to go with the thing. We've got some more labels here. And then there's this one here. So I think we're going to use a couple of these. I had just, I don't know. I printed them off because, um, I always print them to see what they look like before I put them on the shop. Sorry. I probably sound a little distorted. I had to turn around backwards because uh, I have some of my own digitals. Actually, I think I have all of them, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I have some of them printed up in this folder here. So I think I'm going to use, actually, I think I'm going to use a combination. This one is uh, vintage collage. I think I'm going to use this one here. I want, where'd it go? Where'd you go? I just saw you. Hmm. 
These aren't just the tags. No, there we go. I was going to say, I don't think these are just the tags. But this is printed on 32 pound um, type paper. Not cardstock, but type. Type paper. So there's that. Oh, and then there's also. Uh, that's the reason I grabbed that one was because it was printed on type. There's also coffee dyed. Let's see. What are you? Mm, that's my ladies. Don't want that one for this project. Um, let's see here. And grab. Oh, this one's written or uh, printed on the uh, type paper too. All right, so we'll use those instead. Let's come back. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll use it. I'll set it down. <clears throat> and yes, my chair is still squeaky because well, it's squeaky. All right, so. We're just going to collage here. So I think I want to leave this open so it can be glued into like a signature. But I think it might be too tall. So we might have to cut it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to cut it. So let's do that. Actually... We can make a pocket. Or, no. Huh. I don't want to do this. How do I want to do this? Alright, so I'm holding it down here. That's still going to be able to go into signature there. Get it this way. And then Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Probably not. Alright, so we're gonna cut this at an angle here. I'm gonna cut this right around here. Doesn't need to be a straight line. It's going to be glued down on the inside. And then I'm going to cut this one straight across this fold here. And okay. Hold that. All right, so there we go. And then let's see, what do we got a taper here? We Not bad. All right. So I just shortened my envelope. And the reason I did that, because most journals um, that I've seen, whenever you see the pages, they're kind of eight and a half by 11 folded in half. And that's kind of the size of the journal. So I try to make the embellish now, I try to make the embellishments the size that they could go into the journal. So I'm going to glue this down. I probably need, why is this in my glue book? I have no idea why this is all in my glue book, but I can use it. It's probably why it's in my glue book, so I use it. That's a pretty good idea. It's like, hey, you have this stuff to use. Stick in your glue book so it falls out every time you touch it. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to glue that yet because it's going to make this easier to map. 
So let's do that first. Mm -hmm. I think we need to decide where it's going before we can really decide the matting. I like that though. Oh my god. So let's see. Got this piece here. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do this one. All right. Um. So we need thereabouts right there. And you need to let go of my book. Um, grab my ruler here. And where's that crease at? Found it. Or make it just shy of that crease. So, oh man. Well, I like the blue. Like that. But I think I like the writing better. Alright, so I'm going to pull this out just a smidge. So I'm going to use FabriTac so it doesn't um, warp. And by the way, this is the first time I'm using this bottle. And I got this suggestion from Miss Gail. Um, you can use her link for um, like Gail's favorite things. And it, she'll get like a little bit of a commission because it's like an affiliate link, I believe, I'm pretty sure. That's where I got the idea to use that. Okay. All right. And I'm going to cover this side too, I think. So let's do. I'm going to use this. Let's do this one. Flip it over. Do the other side. I'm gonna lose my. Oh, it's attached to my ruler. <laughs> I was like, how did that happen? Just completely lost my. My thing. All right, so I am gonna ink this because I just ripped it, and it's white. Now, if it was on copy dyed paper, it'd be fine, I think. All right, I literally just took away the white edges. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. Right inside there. And then right. I need you. Give me your ruler. Right there. Okay. So we're gonna use this again. And I really like this because this bottle, because you can use like thin lines of the Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Tac is by far my favorite glue to use 
especially paper to paper because it doesn't warp your paper. And that there, put that there, and we're going to collage on this side so this little bit right here will get covered up. But we ink it first because if it doesn't go all the way to the edge, then it's not going to be that bad as far as like um, the stark whiteness of it. I was just inking this side right here. Okay, so now we're going to fold this under and stick it right there. Like a so. We got to re glue it though because the glue is dry. Where's my book? Come here, book. This has definitely seen a day or two. This glue book. All right. the other way. I'm just going to tear this out let that little strip dry and then fold it in half and go like that. Alright. Grab my ink. I'm using archival ink uh, in the color of coffee. I like that color. It's a dark color. It's not too too dark but you know it's got a little bit of color on it. So I do want to cover this up, but not necessarily too much. Mm, let's see, we'll use this one here. Oh, what's on this side? Mm, yeah, we'll use this one here. Now this set is not available to the public yet um, because I still want to make another set of embellishment pages to go with it. And it doesn't necessarily go with it per se. It, it, there'll be three different listings for the embellishments, but that way they'll have, you know, people will have options because it's nice to have options. Okay. Again, just taking away the white because we're going to put this on. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've done collaging and boy, you make a mess when you do collaging. All right, so I'm going to go up here and let's see. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while since I've done collaging and I think I feel, feel like I know why because you just make a mess with it. But it's still so much fun. Oh, I didn't do it all the way down. There we go. Now we're in a trim of this side. I feel like I'm doing the 3 and 30 again. Because I'm trying to, like, not make the video super crazy long. But I don't know how long you guys like your videos to be. Now, obviously, the 3 and 30, they're 30 minutes long. But... I was actually thinking about doing some craft with me videos because um, I have a lot of projects in my head. I just haven't really executed them what like at all, not necessarily well, but not at all. And so we're now going to do the other side here. That way there's something on that side. Um, I think I want these feathers. But anyway, yeah. So y'all let me know. Are you interested in craft with me videos? Are you interested in projects that I have, you know, in my head? So to give you an idea, I mean, they'll all be books or journals or something like that.
but like a couple of them I have like construction ideas trying to figure out different ways to do things. Alright, so let's make you not white. there. What glue did I use on this side? Glue stick. Ah, come here. Oh, my pages are going everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the stuff that keeps falling out of my glue book. I could do napkins too. Now what? <laughs> I could do napkins too. I think I might have a couple of those. Where are you? Oh, I did it upside down. This side first. Okay. But I forgot how collage, how much fun it is. Because it's been so long since I've done it. Because you just, you know. Glue stuff and glue stuff. You don't really think about it. You just do it. Alright. Hold that. I don't need that super teeny tiny piece. Okay. So now this can be like just a... You could make this into like an actual envelope. Like with a little magnet. But if we were to have used a magnet, it would have gone on underneath this little piece here. That way you didn't see it. But we're doing it like this. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's see. Use this guy. And this guy. We'll put you up. That's actually pretty perfect. Put you right there. Uh, we'll put you on the other side because that's the other one of that one. Use this one on this side. These little papers are sticking to my ruler and my fan is blowing everything everywhere. Stick. Let's see. Do we want to use any of these? I'm going to use this one here. Sorry, you're off camera. Or I'm off camera, rather. I have to remember to keep looking up. Alright, so there's that one. Hold that. Let's see, what else do we got over here? It's on this side. Oh, that one's pretty old. Got one. There's that one. Let's see. Looks like this one here. We'll just take a chunk off of this. I believe this one is out of my vintage set. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. And we need you to be about that big. I want this part up here, so let's do that part. Did I just go from being off camera on one side to off camera on the other? No. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put you there. 
And let's see, we've got another strip going on top of this, so we can go right around there. Like that. Scooch that all the way up. Okay, I like that. That's probably close as glue. Um, let's ink some stuff. See, you're already past 30 minutes. I hope you guys don't mind. I don't know if you like the longer videos or what. Because um, it's it's been a while, and the last time I recorded videos, I want to say it's kind of a different it's kind of a different audience than you guys now. Kind of like them. I like how it's curling up like that. And this is why my book gets colored, because I use it as my inking pad as well. Although I use my desk too, so I use whatever's available. Hold that. Oh, this is going on the other side. That's all right. I'll still ink it. Okay. All right. You're going on the other side. So let's take our envelope here and we'll put, let's see. I'm going to do that one first or that one first. I think we'll do this one first. All right. And poof. Okay. And poof. One. Oh, something's happening in my kitchen. All right. So there's that. And then my email's going off again. Let's see, we'll put you there, and we'll put, um, let's see, I think we'll put this one here, like that, and this will get covered up. Not that worried about that little spot. Okay. All right. And then let's see. Let's get over here. So y'all know how much I love OC cutting, right? So that's why I made the tags the way that I did. 
because the fussy cutting is very minimal. Even better. So I don't know if a video aired today or not, but I'm probably just going to, I'll look at the videos and I'll put it in between the, because the outfit challenge is like every other day. And I think I have one scheduled for now. Um, uh, let's see. I think the last one I have scheduled is you. So I will probably put this video in between T and U. Uh, it might go in between S and T because I don't know when I don't know when S aired. If it was today or yesterday, I don't know. Because like I said, I try to record when I can and sometimes I can record you know five videos in one day and sometimes I can't record at all for three days in a row so and I'm just grabbing another strip of this um, washi strip stuff from my collage page here that I created. And we're going to do one more because that's not the one I wanted. It was the one I originally wanted and then I saw this one while I was doing the other one so I was like, ooh, that would look so much better. I don't mind me, I'm just ripping. You know. Alright. Ripping where it's not supposed to be ripped. Okay. Alright, we're going to do a quick ink over overhaul here. No, don't put hot glue over there. My fans blowing everything everywhere. I'm gonna have to turn that off next time I record. And I'm probably gonna forget and complain about my fans some more. But it's really nice. I mean, I'd rather deal with the blowing of pages all over the place than deal with it being so hot in here. Because my fan was rotating the wrong way, which is why it was so warm in here all the time. But my husband fixed it. And now it's rotating the right direction. Kind of want to pick this up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yep, I can. Yeah, just like that. All right. Nope. Hold that. Come here. Come here, you. Okay. 
put some more glue down. Is much better. I'm gonna trim that side. I almost don't want the large this side. So let's put this down right here. I like that. But it kind of match it, uh, matches too well with that one. Yeah, let's do that one instead. Think. Don't mind me, I'm just throwing glue all over the place. What is our time at? Oh goodness gracious, it's at 46 minutes. Goodness gracious, what are all the bath? That's really cool because you don't you don't understand how ironic that is that you sent me these envelopes because um, I literally thought about buying envelopes just for these windowed envelopes because I didn't have any and I wanted to play with them. So that is super cool that you got those for me. That's amazing. Appreciate that more than you can know. All right, that's looking fairly good. All right, we need something across the top here. Oh, I have an idea. All right, let's. Did we already do the ink on this one? I don't know. I don't remember. We'll do it again. Make it darker. Darker picture, darker. Okay, so I have an idea. I bet you'll never guess. Now, how many of you are yelling at the TV or computer right now trying to guess what, what my surprise is to go on this collage piece here? So we have one little blank spot right there. What are we going to put there? Oh, that's really cool. I'm digging this. Alright. So, oh, we have some open spot. Come here, you. Alright. That's really cool. I haven't been able to do that in a minute. Alright, so let's actually do a base of the book page first and go from there. good too but that might be a little too dark and it's got other stuff on it too so we're just going to glue that down because I, I use my glue book for all kinds of stuff it's kind of like a catch-all when you're taking tags off of something and it sticks to your finger you know just flip your finger on top of your glue book put the tag on the glue book Alrighty. Now we had something here. I like this. So let's use this. This was the rest of that little strip that we used on the other side. Okay. All right. I need a 
little bit more glittery here underneath because we missed the edge completely. Now, bye paper. It was nice knowing you. Oi. Okay. Um, you are cooking it. Oh, down. Alright. Um, let's see. There's a little bit of this here. That's why I don't do the craft with me videos very much because I like to tell you guys how I'm doing things and some people just don't want to hear anything about that because they're like, I already know how to do it. I don't need you to teach me how to do it. Um, and then sometimes I just kind of ramble on and on and on, you know, because that's something I would never do. Let's go this way. I like that. I don't know. I guess I just get self-conscious. feel like y'all don't want to hear it. Or don't want to watch it. Or, you know, what ifs. Okay. Now there's this one and this one left. Oh, that's almost perfect. Look at that. Let's take you off a little of that white up dressed to a smidge. Alright, I like that. Ah! that side. Let's do where'd you go? There you go. Like I know I saw you a second ago. Alright, so flip this back over this way. Have y'all figured out what my surprise is yet? What am I doing? What am I doing? Hey, let's go. So we can set all this aside. We're gonna need that still. These can all go back in that little notebook thingy that I pulled them all out of. Yeah. It's actually not a notebook, it's a folder. It's a file folder. Let's see. I don't even remember where I got this particular file folder. Probably Amazon if I had to guess. I get everything on Amazon. That or AliExpress, but I don't I don't think it's come from AliExpress. I got it I don't know. A few months ago. Alright, what am I oh yeah, my my surprise. Okay. So this is new, so we're going to play with it. Can you see it? <laughs> Make you see it. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to put it across the top here. That's going to cut off the flowers regardless. Alright. 
So. Okay, I don't want to touch that. Um, let's see. I need plastic of some sort. Oh, you know what? I was doing orders earlier. And put this back here. Please. This is how I have my stuff organized and sorted. They're in bags like this with the letter on it. And they're all just kind of hanging out in my, dra my dresser drawer. In my bathroom. My spare bathroom. So we don't use that bathroom. So we happen to have three bathrooms in this house. We have two full baths and then a half. The half bath is where the dresser is. <laughs> Go figure. All right. So, I really kind of want to put this on this side too. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. So we're just going to go straight down here and that is too short. And this is the great thing about using plastic is Fabri-Tac will just run right off of plastic. It'll just peel right off. So, that, I think, will be the finishing touch. No, I think I'm going to do it a little bit more on this side. And this side, actually. I have an idea. Alright, I need to pin this back up. But yeah, this one's brand new. Um, just came in. Uh, let's say last week. Uh, and I normally sit on laces and napkins and such because I still get some napkins from Europe. But they just take a while to get here for one. Um, but I normally sit on them for a little while until I get them listed because. It just takes me that long. I like that. I might have to put a magnet here. You guys know me and my magnets. Ugh. Okay. So I'm gonna put this here, and I'm not sure about the closure. We might add a, like a paper clip or something. Some yellow. No, it's probably too much. There's some green. Oh, I like the green. That, the green's way too big though. I need to make more of these. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that is way better. Okay. And this is just like little tiny snippets. And, um, oh, and if you want any of the snippet packs that are in the Etsy shop, uh, you might want to hurry because they're selling out like really quick. I just put that up upside down. Um, pretty sure I only have three left. Um, no, I have two packs left and I have two of each pack left. But I have three bundles because one of them is a doily bundle. 
All right, let's put you on this side. We're going to put you up a little bit, though. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, right in the middle is good. Perfect. Because I didn't want to put it down here because this on this side is down there and it would just create that, t that much more bulk in your journal. Ew, I like that. That turned out super cool. And once again, ready-made embellishments save the day. So anyway, that's my video for today. Um, shout out to Melissa. Thank you so much. Um, I really enjoyed playing with the Happy Mail today and I'm probably going to do a lot more because this is a lot of fun. I like these. Oh, and uh, there's the pocket as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I know it's a long video, but thank you for sticking around if you did and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.